Well, something tells me we're gonna face enormous amount of despair in this uh, this arc because the school, all the different schools have appeared, and uh, it's around one one thousand four hundred and eight. Not schools, but people. There is a very ominous uh, aura in this chapter, an aura I cannot shake the feeling that not something very bad is about to happen. We also see a cover which seems to with uh, Deku's new mask. So uh, the guy, the over the top guy from last week, why didn't he join you? Hey, we will probably find out this arc, but he seems to be the biggest threat. Then we meet the new teacher, a laughing woman who has apparently has a crush on Aizawa that, uh, well, uh, Aizawa hates. Her name is uh, Mrs. Jokes. She is the smile hero, and her laughing is quirk. Well, not her quirk is laughing. She forces others to laugh to make their movements and thinking slow. <laughs> That's a, that sounds almost like a you pretty useless quirk. But if there's something we have been shown in Boku no Hero Academy, that even those that seems worthless can become very versatile if it's used the right way. <clears throat> Shinsu, you really are a jackass. You are so naive if you don't if you think you are limited. So yeah, who wonders? We then meet new students and a, a guy as apparently named Shindo who grabs all, all the hands except uh, Bakugo who only pushes his hand away. <sighs> I mean that's the first ominous presence. Shindo. Isn't Shin doesn't Shin mean uh, heart? In Japanese, I mean, Shinso also meant the uh, heart, uh, didn't it? I cannot help but feeling that Shindo's quirk has something to do when he grabbed their hands. I just have a feeling. And Bakugo may be a jerk, but he is actually pretty well um, um, clear sometimes. The way he says uh, your words and face doesn't match. And so the students change in their costume and they're meeting with a new uh, uh, with, with a hero association member called Mera, a guy who is uh, who can't sleep although he's very tired. And I said it wrong. It's apparently 1540 examiners here. And according to this sleepy head it's very likely only 100 will pass. He's also talking about stain, which much to Deku and um, uh, well, Idea's uh, thoughts. Because after all, he was the one who said that heroes shouldn't de demand reward. They should be earned by self, by, by the, all the sacrificial. In a way, that's true. A hero should never demand something. But Ram also makes a good point when he's saying that... Uh, those who sacrifice something to save people should sometimes get more. Uh, and this is a test that will be all about um, speed. And the condition is actually, well not easy, but they will each get some kind of balls on their bodies. And if... Uh, uh, and apparently it, anyone who takes down two... Uh, people with these balls, they will pass. And this is no robots and and not and no such things as difference. They will uh, they will have to defeat two people each and they won't pass. Or they won't pass. And so the opening uh, sky is going out and it turns out that uh, there's a very trend every single test and that is destroy you hey. Uh, because, well, it seems like everyone has a grudge against Yuhei. Maybe because Yuhei is the top uh, hero academy in this place. So all the first year attacks, all the first years of the, the Yuhei, and the, as they throw their balls. Huh, that's strange. I didn't think they were allowed to throw their balls. Uh... Or maybe it's the fact, or maybe I misunderstood. Is he meant to hinting that they need to defeat each other with these balls? 
Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It's that's that's a thing. Is they had to be hit by by the balls, and if all three targets lighten up, it's considered a loss. But the first years that can sit, Amidria want them to work together because well, the schools can work together. But of course, Bakuga ran away. Kishimaru has to stop him and tell Todoroki well he is um, his power is too powerful. But then Deku, Ashito, Mineta, Ushaku, and Takuyomu each deflect the different balls, and then we see Shindo smiling. As Ayasawa says, the reason why he didn't tell this to his students because they need to overcome their crisis themselves, because that's what the hero does. Ayasawa may be a jerk teacher, but he is surprisingly... Uh, uh, what's that word? Not clear-headed. I, I don't want to say wise, but maybe cruel wise is the right words. Everything he says is cruel, but it also carries a certain amount of truth and wisdom in it. So, 100 people will pass. There are 20, I think, of the Yuhei. So it's not impossible for all the Yuhei members to pass. But, I have a feeling we will meet some kind of despair. This is basically this chapter. The action started first, and we saw some of their, of their new specialities. Although Ushakos were the only one I didn't really see so much clear for. Ashido seems to create acid whips. So, who will... Uh, will they get out of... Uh, will they get out of this? Will Yuhei's teamwork be even stronger? Give me your thoughts if you have any.